My name is Lauren Greenfield, and I'm a director and a photographer, and I'm a member of the Sundance Alumni Advisory Board. That's a tongue twister. We are at the Annenberg Space for Photography in Century City. This space has been in LA for two years, and it's an incredible gift that Wallace Annenberg has given the city of Los Angeles. And I am part of the current show. It's called Beauty Culture. I'm one of four featured artists, but there are actually many, many artists in the show itself. And I had the honor and privilege of directing the film that goes with the show. It's called Beauty Culture. And it's a look at how beauty and fashion images have shaped our concepts of beauty and the culture. After my book, Girl Culture, which was a five your journey looking at how uh, the body has become the primary expression of identity for girls and women. I felt like there was a film to make there. In 2004 I directed my first film, Thin, which was about eating disorders for HBO and it went to the festival in 2006. Thin was really a multi-platform project. It was driven by the film which was a cinema verite experiential film about women in a residential clinic for eating disorders. And for me, coming from photography, it just kind of expanded my world in a way that was really exciting. And when I had my second film, a short called Kids and Money, it was also at the festival in 2008. So I got to be there as a short director, where whenever I'm directing a film, I always have my camera, I'm always taking pictures. It was really a whole kind of new way of working. And my photographs have always been narrative, but the storytelling process in film is really different. And I feel like that is what I'm new to and what I'm struggling with. I am making my first truly independent feature length film and it has been a challenge that I did not expect both creatively, logistically, practically. And I recently was invited to the Sundance Documentary Edit and Story Lab as a fellow. You spend a week in the mountains, there are five films, an incredible group of world-class advisors, both editors and directors. Everybody is there to support your film. Sometimes that means really hard criticism and really emotional moments and sometimes that means really starting to get a handle on a new approach. To learn about story structure was just a huge um, help for me. In the film that I'm doing now and also in the last film I made, Beauty Culture, photographs were actually a huge part of the film itself. There are certain aspects of my documentary photography that translate really directly into my work as a filmmaker. And then there are other aspects where I am a total beginner. I mean, my advice for first-time filmmakers is my same advice that I give to photographers all the time, which is follow your heart. It's really about finding your voice and expressing your vision. And that's what's so great about places like the Sundance Lab is they nurture that voice when you don't have the kind of confidence or support to just do it on your own. When I started as a photographer, at the time I tried to make films and it didn't feel like it was open to everybody because it was so expensive to make films and the technology and the, and the film stock and everything, there were so many barriers. And now I think what you see is that young people and first time filmmakers really can make films. I don't think it would be possible without institutions like Sundance where you can really kind of put the commercial interests aside and do what is best for the creative. Come and see the Beauty Culture Show. It's open until late November. It's an amazing, amazing exhibition of incredible photography. And you can also see my Beauty Culture film, which is playing on a loop in the space. It's 30 minutes long.